Right, so I wanted to do a quick video about um, the Abri. You can see it, uh, Abri. Abri DM hyphen F8 DMR, uh, DMR radio. Um, people are having quite a lot of problems trying to connect uh, the CPS software to these kind of radios and what I'm going to show you is how I connected mine up and got it all working Let's link it up and there it is all there's it all programmed in so I'm going to show you how to program this in and these kind of radios um, when there's errors in the software that won't allow you to program so that's the uh, the website. Um, you can get it from the Chinese websites, Banggood, AliExpress, that kind of thing. And that's the uh, DMR Abri DMF8 DMR VHF UHF. And uh, there's a bit of information about it, but it doesn't give any programming software and usually not on this one on one of the other sites there's a list of reviews from uh, buyers asking how do you program it it can't program it it's absolutely unusable um, i was one of them until i sat down and had a bloody good think about it and figured something out with it okay so there is a youtube channel called alpha charlie concepts I'm just going to take the volume off um, and that goes into one of the videos about the DMF8 and in the questions people have got a lot of questions about let's go on to YouTube video of that um, people have got in their comments uh, about how you program it uh, there's two videos about the DMF8. This is one of them. There's another one if you search anyway. Um, what they say is to download a piece of software called Wanaton. W A N N E T O N. Wanaton CPS. And Wanaton CPS is, um, comes up with. Um, when you go to program the DMR in, it'll come up with an error. So uh, the error stops the data from transferring. You can see here, I've got it all programmed in with mine. I've got the channels, the VF, uh, VFOs, parameters, alerts, group list, contacts. So it's all programmed in, it's all working. So, Wanaton CPS, the radio programming software. So what you need to do is, you need to go and find your program. There's the Wanaton. And on your PC, it's in local disk, program files, and Wanaton, Wanaton CPS. Um, if you hover over that, that's the file version that is the file that is the executable file so you'll need to go to right click on it and you'll need to go to properties so in your properties window uh, you go to the tab that says compatibility and run compatibility troubleshooter you can go through that there's about three or four different options but they're pretty much on here as well you can run the program compatible for uh, different windows versions i've got it to windows 8 because it doesn't go any further than that but when you run the compatibility troubleshooter it asks you did it work um, you try and connect it and if it works leave it be apply it that's it if it doesn't um, if it doesn't run it'll ask you something else and you run it again 
and then you try it again. I tried it on the second pass and it um, went and did it. So when the compatibility troubleshooter has gone through and you then connected, um, you click on apply and then the software will allow you to connect to the PC. Right, so I've got two different cables. That's the um, official Baofeng cable with the pins on the side. You can get these off the Chinese websites for a couple of quid. And then I also got one of these which comes up with all different kinds of connectors to USB. That works and the Baofang also works. So I'm going to connect the Baofang up and the radio so you can see it actually working. Right, so the uh, DMFA is connected up with the Baofang cable into the computer and in the software you're going to want to go to where is it going um you're going to go to tool and you're going to go to communication port and that opens up your com port i'm on com port 14 um 11 5 200 board rate and okay it it's already done on mine so if i go to then um I'm going to send this information back to the, which is that one up there, right. I'm going to send this information back to the radio and you can see it working. So if I'm going to write on that, oh, it's going to, it's going to come up with that, which is a window and you OK it and it'll start writing. There you go, starting writing, and your DMR is programming. Right, so that's finishing the download. And then it's going to go through reset, boot up again, and that's all your stuff programmed in. So that's all your channels programmed in. These are all talk groups. And then I've got the analog repeater on the top. Yeah, talk group and then analog repeater on the top. So that's now programmed up and fully working. So I hope this has been helped to some people. I know there's a lot of people that have been commenting and saying that they couldn't do it. Um, compatibility issue with the software give that a try if your DMRs or radios don't work I presume it works with quite a lot of different software um, it took me a while to get the software for the the Baofang working because that was a specific CPS so yeah that's uh, that's how I overcame the compatibility issue and now it's working brilliantly thanks for watching